Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna start here with the grass in the background and the crypts, and then the talent is gonna walk into the frame. Did you just speak about yourself in the third person and as the talent? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, we're clear, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to pan over and we'll do the big reveal, okay? Gotcha. So I'll, I'll go in. Hey, good morning everybody. I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and today we are in Woodlawn Cemetery, perhaps America's greatest cemetery. Uh, and we are in the Bronx, and you can tell we're in New York because of all the construction noise. Anyway, so today we are looking for Alva Vanderbilt Belmont. Yes, she's part of the Vanderbilt family. Now, Alva was born in Mobile, Alabama to a well-to-do family, and they used to summer in Newport, Rhode Island, like the rich do. Now, she met William Vanderbilt, who was the grandson of the Commodore, the one who started the Vanderbilt family fortune. And then William's father was William, Alva married, there you go, they started off. Now, the Commodore passed away, and then William's father passed away. That left $1.1 billion in today's money to the Vanderbilt, Alva and William. Alva went on a spending spree. She built giant mansions. She built a marble house in Newport, Rhode Island, and uh, she built, bought, uh, built a yacht called, oddly enough, Alva, and uh, she just spent a ton of money. Now, the reason she did this is she was in competition with Mrs. Astor. Mrs. Astor started the social registry in New York City uh, in the 1800s, and that was capped at 400 families. The reason 400, that's how many could fit in the Astor's ballroom. Now, Alva decided to throw a party and invite a thousand people. She won up to Alva big time, and uh, that party cost over five million dollars in that money previously. So Alva was spending out of control, and one day, uh, William was caught with another woman in Paris, France. Oh my gosh. So Alva filed for divorce, which if you know anything about the 1800s, was a huge scandal, especially given that she came from such wealth. But she said, forget that, I'm filing for divorce. But the funny thing is, everybody suspects to this day that William did a setup on her because he got out of it for a mere $10 million in two mansions. So what did Alva do? She went and married Oliver Belmont. Uh, and you know the Belmont name because it's the Belmont Stakes was named after him. He founded it, something like that. Not sure. So, uh, life goes on. Uh, she becomes a suffragette. Uh, women's rights, blah, blah, blah. She forced her daughter to marry a count or some royalty. And uh, she moved to Paris. Uh, Oliver died uh, at age 60, I believe, roughly tuberculosis of the larynx, larynx and uh, she outlived him another uh, several years, a couple of 20 years in Paris building mansions and whatnot. Now, as she lay dying, she had spent a lot of the money, if not all of it. She sold Marlborough House for a mere $100,000. So that tells you how much of a bath she took and that's why the Vanderbilts in general lost the entire fortune that uh, the commander, uh, Cornelius Vanderbilt, built. Now, would you like to see where she's buried? Come follow me. This is the massive mausoleum that she had architects hunt and hunt design for her. And do you want to know how many people are buried here? Let me see. One, two, carry the seven, two, Oliver and Alba Belmont. Now, the heirs couldn't keep this grand mausoleum that you can see from space. You can literally see this on Google Earth, how freaking big this crypt is, this mausoleum. Um, the heirs gave it to the cemetery with the understanding that nobody could ever be buried there again. 
but the funny thing is is they stuck the cemetery with the upkeep on it this is not cheap and so they're constantly fundraising and things like that they can take very good care of it and they actually open it a couple times a year for a tour so if you're lucky you can see the inside today it's closed but we're just showing you the outside so I am Scott Stanton I am the original tombstone tourist we are at Woodlawn Cemetery we're on West Border Road uh, you just take a right as you come into the main entrance and you will see her massive mausoleum here my job is done here have a great day okay you're not going to believe this. This is actually open. I have been coming here for 30 years. It's never been open. I'm going to show you the inside. This is awesome. Come on. Looking good. One side, here's all of it. And then this is Alpha over here. And then this is the original suffragette flag at one of her rallies. She insisted that it be a part of the, the, the tomb. I'm not sure what this is, but this is absolutely stunning. Again, only two people in the crypt. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, I hope you enjoyed this treat. <coughs> Again, oh God, it's, it's like really musty and cruddy in here. I'm Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Again, thank you very much.